All right, welcome. Uh, this is going to be a part two. Um, I did a few test runs with Time Star Extreme, and uh, I'm going to just show you some scores here, some screenshots. So I did uh, I did this score with a 128 GPU offset, 289 VMAM offset. Got 12872 and 12672. Uh, these were uh, the scores I got, uh, but the best one was I think this one. Finally, I got to. Uh, uh, Almost 13,000, not quite. And that's when it kind of got, uh, kind of crashed actually. Let's just check some results. Uh, let's see, benchmarks. Oh, results. Oh, no, he's so slow. Oh, that's weird. Let's see here. Okay, so this was the. This is the result right here. So I got 12,911 points, which was uh, probably the highest score I got on TimeSpy Extreme. But yeah, like I was saying, uh, wasn't very stable. So I decided to underclock it by just a few on GPU and memory. Hopefully that'll be stable. We're going to run on uh, regular TimeSpy now. See how that goes. Uh, no demo, so... If it crashes, then we'll try again with uh, lower lower settings. All right, here we go. The other concern I had is that maybe uh, the cards were not getting enough power because my fans were uh, max PWM. So this is kind of the quiet setting for the fans. All right, we're at 21.15 megahertz. GPU temps are fine. 2100 megahertz on GPU. So yeah, maybe it was the, the issue that I had probably was that the, uh, oh, crashed. All right, cool, so that's fine. I will take that as a no. So let's try to underclock some more. We'll try, uh, let's see, maybe 115. And uh, 260. Nope. 256 is fine. No. All right, so I underclocked a little bit. Uh, let's try it again. All right, let's try it. No overclock, of course, runs fine, but um, this is trying to find the uh, perfect stability balance. And uh, there is no air conditioning, it's just ambient temperature in Southern California. It is nighttime, though, so temperature should be lower. I usually, uh, sometimes it will crash here, but it's still going. So that's a good sign. Also, the uh, memory is not Samsung B-Die, it's Micron, so not the best memory in the world for the video card memory. Yeah, attempts look fine. I mean, 40, 41. We're almost done with this benchmark. All 
All right, we finished one. So uh, hopefully this finishes two. If not, we'll have to underclock the GPU and uh, underclock the GPU memory. Fingers crossed. Utilization is pretty high up there, 82 and 97. Temps are 43C for GPU. And uh, core clock for GPU is at uh, 2100 megahertz. Not crashing, so good. We're at 140 FPS there. Wow. That's very, very good. All right, I think we're about to finish this. Yeah, no crashing. Cool. I mean, uh, now that the GPU tests are done, uh, CPU is no problem at all because we're at 4.7. Let's see how we do on temps. There we go. Well, 70s. Also, you know, because I uh, reduced the uh, fan speed, we're not at 100% fan speed anymore. Uh, wow, we got uh, 20,311 uh, points. I'm going to save that score. This is not Time Spy Extreme, this is just uh, Time Spy, so Time Spy. And uh, what I like to do is record the uh, overclock settings that I put in here. So um, let's see, we got a 115 GPU, 256 VMM. So I usually like to type in here uh, 115, 256. That way I know that one's a GPU and the other one is uh, the memory. So save. And uh, 23346 was my graphics score. CPU is 11,696. Pretty good. Uh, let's compare results online. All right, so uh, that is uh, very good because we got 99% uh, better then all results um, that means that I'm in the top top 1% of computer users all right, if you guys would just stop messaging me that'd be great because I'm benching right now but I'm definitely gonna uh, screenshot uh, this result with the sleeping tool so yeah, let's put the sleeping tool here and uh, now we've now we found our settings for stability we'll proceed with the other test so benching, uh, let's see, uh, I need to uh, make a new one folder here. So this would be time spy, time spy. And uh, see, we put uh, 115 to 56, okay. Cool, so it's pretty good. See from our results here, I think I had a few crashes, so Oh no, wait, this is not it. This is in uh right here, yeah. Okay, so let's see, uh where are my my results? The ones that are crashed, uh I definitely don't want those scores, but um yeah, these are pretty good scores. So we're gonna proceed on to uh the next uh benchmarks. We already did time spying. Uh next one we're gonna do is uh Port Royal. Uh then of course we'll do Fire Strike Ultra and Fire Strike Extreme. Um the most taxing, I, I think, for sure, is the uh, the Ultra and the Extreme. Uh, but let's do the Port Royal, see how we do there. Uh, no, what Do we want to do a demo? Mm, nah, sorry, no demo. Actually, no, you guys want to see RTX on, right? So let's do the demo. Let's go.
All right, it's loading. All right, poor Royal. This is actually the first time that I um, I'm running Port Royal. Uh, it took a while to get the system up and running with all those radiators and uh, all of the the parts I needed. But uh, here we go. It's loading. That's a lot of resources. And also, I'm um, running an M.2 SSD, so. 970 Pros, 1 terabytes. It looks so cool. There's some, some blur effects right here, like depth of uh, field. But wow, I mean, oh wow. That looks pretty. We're at 62 FPS. Okay, the funny thing is that um, I'm not only seeing 97% usage on one card and the other card's at 3%, so that means it's only running off of one GPU. It's kind of sad because uh, I really wanted to see usage on two GPUs, and we're not getting that. But still, it looks very impressive. Forty nine FPS. Fifty four. Fifty five FPS. And uh, yeah, it looks like only only running off of one GPU, not the second. If it will run both, then it'd be much better more FPS, but sadly it's not programmed that way. But yeah, I can see the reflections in the ship. It just looks amazing, man. I mean, um, this is amazing. How far we've come in technology. And you can see uh, all the reflections the characters light bouncing off 36 FPS there, wow 48 ooh, physics oh, they're starting to move they become animated That was pretty cool. I mean, uh, it was very pretty to see, and uh, it didn't crash. That was a demo, by the way. It wasn't a graphics test. I just wanted to put that out there because a lot of you guys are wondering uh, if RTX is worth it or not. I think it is. As we progress, I will see uh, better usage of it, but it's not. It's not fully utiliz utilizing. Uh, oh, actually, here we are utilizing both GPUs. I'm seeing 90 90 90 percent or higher usage on both uh, NV Link 16x. So actually, you're getting really amazing frame rate. It looks like the demo was uh, programmed and set to run off of uh, a single GPU, but uh, on here I, I can clearly see it's above 90 percent usage uh, on MSA Afterburner Overlay. We're getting 71 FPS. So just to get just to get um just to put into context to get two Galax Hall of Fame OC Lab Edition GPUs uh, only a hundred exist <laughs> they cost one thousand eight hundred each 
And uh, when I heard that the frame rate would drop on just a single RTX 2080 Ti, that pretty much told me, okay, I need to get two. <laughs> and uh, by getting two, I can push the overclock as far as I can on, on, on just water cooling, which we're at 2100 megahertz, which is fine, and get a decent uh, 60 plus FPS um, experience. And yeah, it's, we're getting 60 plus FPS. Both cards are at 90% utilization or, or better. And it, it just looks amazing. I mean, just take a time to look at the reflections. Uh, oh my god. I mean, it's this is playable. Regardless of what anyone says. Um, two Galaxy Hall of Fame cards, 2100 megahertz. You're going to get 60 FPS at a high price. But, you know, uh, I kind of kind of knew that uh, going into this, that it would require uh, a huge amount of commitment for, uh, for money. And... Um, and overclocking would be able to get that 60 plus FPS playable experience. We're going to see the results real quick. So 15,379. We're going to save that. Uh, we're at benchmark results here. And new folder. We're going to save that as uh, ports royal. And uh, I'm just going to put my overclock settings here. I always do 1100 uh, millivolts. 115 to 56. So, and let's compare the results uh, online. So, let's see. Result details. Valve result. Uh, unlike the other results, uh, this does not tell me if it's like 98% or better than all the other ones. But uh, it does say that I ran the clock. On the uh, Galaxy cards at 2115 megahertz, which is pretty cool. But um, yeah, I mean, uh, for you all benchmarks, if you guys are out there looking at this, I really want to see how my score um, compares to the other ones. I think that's that's missing here. And I didn't run any any custom uh, benchmarks. It was just a default one. So all I did was I went here and I just ran it. Uh, there was no custom run of anything. So it's a bit of a disappointment. I'm right, moving on to the next one. We're going to try um, Firestrike Ultra, followed by uh, Firestrike Extreme and Firestrike. The other ones, I uh, don't have enough time for it. Just went in one video, so we'll do it in another one. But let's try Firestrike Ultra and see how we do. Uh, of course, I'm going to close Chrome because uh, that takes up resources. I'm running only the basic stuff here. So, uh, sniffing tool. I'll uh, leave the sniffing tool. It's fine. All right, cool. Firestar Gulcher, here we go. Uh, demo, mm, I'm going to say no, because I think you guys, you guys, if you want to see a demo, you could just watch any other video. But we're just going to run the test to see how the system does. Hopefully, we don't crash. But I found that these settings are pretty stable on 15 to 56. Now, if you guys uh, have a Kingman card, those have Samsung B die. Unfortunately, uh, this card, the Galaxy of Fame, will edition. It only has Micron memory, so you guys could probably get a much better score with the uh, video card's memory. Oh wow! So, okay, so we're at uh, 89. Um, the overlay is pretty good. It's pretty big. You guys can probably see that easily. Uh, core clocks were uh, 2100 megahertz on both. We're at 90% utilization on both cards. Temperatures are 45, 44C. It's acceptable. Um, I think the fact that I'm not running the fan speeds at 100% really helped out because uh, the power supply can divert the extra power to the GPUs instead of uh, the fans. So... That could have been one reason why I was crashing earlier. There just wasn't enough power available. Uh, and now that the fans are ru running at a much lower uh, speed, it consumes less power. Also, the. Uh, oh, okay, where it's still starting. We haven't crashed yet. That's good. Um, anyway, um, the V Vials was flashed, and uh, both cards are at, are at. Both cards are at 450 watt V Vials. Uh, I do not have a copy of the uh, Galaxy 
overclocking carnival uh, v valves um i think for that you definitely need ln2 but 450 watts is, is fine i think for just water cooling and uh yeah temps are fine clock rock is sustained gpu utilization is 90 percent or higher Okay, 47, 50 FPS. All right, this one's physics test. All right, let me just put it up. Well, where's my uh, overlay? Well, I can't get the uh, MSI afterburner to show. Oh, there it goes. Okay, I guess it just took a while, but um, looks like utilization on GPUs is down. So this is a CPU test for physics. And now we're doing uh, combined tests. So I think it's going to be uh, GPU and CPU. All right, forty-one, forty-three C. Not crashing. Doing going pretty decent at uh, forty FPS. Yeah, it's pretty good. Um, temperatures are 45C. Uh, GPU utilization was like 95% or higher on that one. Let's see the score. All right, 15,359. Uh, uh, that is not bad for just water cooling. I mean, someday, someday I'll get a GPU pod, but uh, no GPU pod, no liquid nitrogen. And uh, graphics test 1, 91 FPS. Test 2, 54. Uh, the physics was 87.71, combined test uh, 38. So yeah, I'm going to save this result again as uh, 115 to 56. It's my stable overclock setting and uh, Fire Strike Ultra. So new folder, Fire Strike Ultra, and save my result as 115 to 56. Also, in case uh, you guys are not sure, um, I do have the jumpers on the card because uh, I, I kind of figure, well, you can't really compare it unless uh, you have a baseline. But still, we managed to get 99% uh, better than all results. We got a 1% top uh, of the world computer here without using LN2, which is pretty good. So I'm going to take a screenshot of this real quick. Uh, that's a very good score, by the way. Um, so it's just. Uh, Screenshot this one and uh, add it to my collection. So save as. Uh, let's see, benching. This one is uh, Fire Strike Ultra. So yeah, Fire Strike Ultra. So uh, new folder and uh, Fire Strike Ultra. And uh, I'll put my overclock settings on 15, 256, saved, cool. All right, uh, moving on to the next test. Uh, of course, close Chrome because it uses too much memory, resources. <laughs> uh, moving on, uh, let's take a look here. We did Ultra, so the next one in the list is going to be uh, Fire Strike Extreme. And uh, so we run the demo now, just do a test. It will take too long, so let's go. All right, extreme, it's loading. Uh, it shouldn't take too long because we have uh, M.2 SSDs. Collecting info. Also, I'm running uh, the CPU uh, 4.7. Uh, gigahertz because uh, 5 gigahertz just generates too much heat and the voltage that is required. For gaming though I think 5 gigahertz is fine because in gaming you're never ever going to uh, stress test 99% CPU and uh, yeah but for benching I do underclock it for better scores. So 2100 megahertz uh, 4243C 
doing just fine. One thirty four FPS V sync off. Uh we are just cruising through oh I'm not sure what was that. Uh some flickering involved, but uh hasn't crashed. Most important part, we're almost done. Cool. Alright, next test. Uh GT two, uh, graphics test two. Alright, starting off at 2115 megahertz, uh, 4142. See? All 2100 megahertz. Uh, utilization for GPUs 89% or higher. Uh, actually, I just saw lows of 87%, but still, it's pretty good. And it's over. Uh, it was fast. I didn't cancel anything. No, I didn't. <laughs> okay, uh, something went wrong there because I did not cancel the test. Uh, let's try it again. My hands are completely off the keyboard. I'm not sure what happened there, but uh, let's try it again. All right, loading. Alright, GT1 again. Oh! You know what? Maybe it's just running a little too hot, so... Let it cool down a bit. What are my temps right now? 36C? Yeah, it's just weird. Uh, I didn't cancel anything. Let's go home. Close this off. Uh, What's my temperature right now? Because I didn't cancel anything. Yeah, these guys are getting 48,000. Damn, it's crazy. Okay, uh, let's see. Temperatures. It's fine. Uh, let's try it one more time. If not, I may have to restart. Who knows? Uh, maybe it was too much benching. Although all the other tests ran fine, so I'm not sure why this is a problem. Okay, here we go. My hands are completely off the keyboard. Nothing's touching it, so yeah, I, it should not crash. Okay, forty, forty-one. Utilization ninety-eight, eighty-nine. We just need to get through this test. Fingers crossed. Twenty-one hundred megahertz. 169 FPS. All right, that helps. So I think um, just giving it a few minutes to cool off in between tests, it helps a lot. All right, twenty one five forty one forty two C. Please don't crash. Okay. One thirty five PS utilization, uh, eighty nine percent or higher. Forty one forty two. Ooh, FPS really dropped there. With all the smoke and particle effects. But uh, we haven't crashed yet, so that's good. Temps 41, 42. It's doing all right. 
Okay, I think it's done. Oh, CPU. This is this is definitely CPU physics. Yeah, my hands are completely off the keyboard, so. Alright, 36C. Uh, GPU utilization is down. For, so, CPU temps are uh, 60, 70s, low 70s. Alright, combine test. Here we go. This is going to get us our score. Alright. Wow. Uh, well, actually, GPU utilization is not that bad right now. It's at 50%. Uh, CPU, uh, it's also not that bad. Uh, temperatures are well within uh, within range of use usage without TJ Maxx. And we just finished it. So I think we should get a score now. Okay. All right, we got 23,487 uh, uh, just on water cooling. That's not bad. I'm going to save that one, this one. And uh, let's go to benchmarks. Uh, we did Ultra. So this is Fire Strike Extreme. So Fire Strike. Oops. Extreme. And I think the settings that we have uh, currently dialed in are 115.56. So, yeah. 115.256. Save. Cool, so we got that. Um, over the results, we got 158 FPS in GT1. GT2, we got 107. Uh, physics was uh, 87.38 FPS. Graphic score was 29,487. Physics was 27,524. Combined score was 8,547. Combined test is. Uh, 39.76 FPS. Let's see those results online. I just close this out. So let's see. Hey, what do you know? We got uh, once again we got 89 uh, percent. No, we actually 99 percent of uh, our results. So uh, we still have a top one percent computer. Until at least until RTX Super comes out. Jesus, man, that's uh. It's literally a month from now, so that's why I wanted to bench right now, especially at nighttime, especially before the temperatures go up in the summer. Uh, okay, so Fire Strike, Extreme, so new folder, Fire Strike, Extreme, and uh, we'll just put in my settings here as usual 115, 256. And save. Now the scores, of course, can be higher, but I don't have liquid nitrogen, so still this is pretty good. It puts me uh, way, way up there. <laughs> so let's see. Uh, oh, this is the screenshot, not the web page. It looks so much the same. Let's maximize this. Uh, yes, yeah, so we're running at twenty-one one five megahertz. Pretty good. Uh, max turbo was forty-seven by one, uh, so that was good. All right. Next one is, I think, just a regular uh, fire strike. So I'm going to close my Chrome. Um, very happy with that result, by the way. All right, so fire strike. Here we go. Uh, demo, no. It's been about uh, two minutes. Just letting the uh, GPU components cool a bit. It should be fine now. So let's see what else we got open. No, we're good to go. All right, let's run it. This one shouldn't be as taxing because it's just plain regular Fire Strike.
by starting off with a 21.5 megahertz uh, 4041C. Two fifty plus FPS, man, that's crazy. That is crazy. I think that's more FPS than human I can see. Yeah, actually, um, that's more FPS than my display can support. And have you sync off because uh, my display can only do sixty FPS, so. I had to disable that. And it's not a monitor, it's a TV, by the way. I was still at 21.5 megahertz, temperatures at 40, 41C, utilization 84, 94%. Uh, temperatures are great right now. Uh, right now, temperature, I mean, the time right now is 11:50 uh, p.m. So we're gonna getting we're getting some really good temps at night. All right, we're almost through this benchmark. All right, 41, 42C, 83, that's stable. I um I really wanted to get these things to go to uh, 2.2 gigahertz. You could do that with Pascal just fine. I think Turing. Uh, the high for Turing is 21.15 megahertz. Maybe the King Pink car could do better, but um, I, I could never get it stable at 2.2 gigahertz, even in, even in game. Or it could run, but then it would crash soon after. So I think it's going to be my new overclock settings for 24 7 gaming. Sometimes you play a game and it crashes and you lose your progress, and that sucks. You know, what if you didn't save? You lost all your progress. Alright, we're at 34 FPS. This is kind of taxing it a bit. Uh, but still playable. There isn't like uh, any uh, sub 30 FPS. That would be unplayable. Okay, we're almost done with this result. And we got 31854. Yay! <laughs> uh, we were at, well, we were at over 200 FPS on both tests, which is excellent. Um, on just Fire Strike, we're at uh, graphics test one was 235 FPS. Uh, graphics test two, uh, 214 FPS. Physics 85 FPS. Combined test 41 FPS, and that's where I was uh, mentioning that you know it was uh, pretty low, but. Uh, very happy with the results overall. 31 54 is the final score. Saving this one as uh, just Fire Strike. Fire Strike. And uh, we were at 115 to 56, so 256. Save. Compare results online for my screenshot. Keeps giving this pop up. Alright, 99%. So. Gonna take a screenshot of that too. And file save as create a new folder and uh fire strike. Now I forgot to uh get the screenshot for Port Royal, but I know I have it saved in uh, my online results. So I'll just uh, capture that real quick. Let's see, uh, go back to Chrome. Okay, there's my cursor right here. And uh, my results. So, Fire Strike, Port Royal right here. And that's the one I forgot to capture. But uh, it's a valid result, so just for my collection of screenshots here, So file, save as, new folder, Port Royal. And uh, 115.56.
Alright, cool. Alright, uh, back to the 3D Mark. I think that's really everything for now, guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed watching the video. There is other tests I can do. Uh, like this. Actually, you know what? We should test the LSS. I think we should do that. The API overhead? No, nah, but we'll do the LSS. So uh, I'm just going to leave everything default because I don't want to mess with the, uh, the settings. Uh, there's different resolutions I could try, but uh, we're going to just try this default one. So let's try. So uh, run. In case you guys don't know, uh, DLSS is dynamic, uh, no, deep learning, super sampling. Only runs on NVIDIA GPUs that are RTX enabled. So actually, you know what? We'll do the 1440 uh, FPS, uh, 1440 resolution, and uh, see what FPS we get. Then we'll do the 4K one. The 1080p, um, maybe we could do that after the 4K. Oh, this is part one without DLSS. Okay, no DLSS. I know the LSS uh, 1440p getting about 65. Let's see if we're using both cards. Probably not. Actually, we are using both cards. 93%, 98% utilization on both. Uh, So this is Port Royal. Uh, I can see the reflections are working because uh, it's it's RTX uh, RTX enabled for Port Royal. So this is RTX on the LSS off, by the way. Um, utilization is um is good on both GPUs for 42C temps and uh, 84 FPS, 1440p. Now let's see what happens when uh, after the test is done, it'll do the LSS. And just to think, um, you know, a year from now, we should be getting Cyberpunk. And uh, that's going to be full uh, RTX enabled. So I think we're, uh, I think for this system, it'll be ready for that for sure. Because there's, there's also 64 gigabytes of RAM on this thing. And it's tried and see uh, G skill. At uh, CL seventeen thirty hundred megahertz. Cool. So that test was the LSS off. This is uh, the LSS on fourteen forty p. We're at twenty one five megahertz. All right, so the LSS on, we are at uh, 92 FPS before we were at 70. So um, I would say I gained about 20 to 25 FPS. I mean, of course, we'll see the results, I think, at the end, uh, what the difference was. But uh, it looks pretty impressive. And I, I honestly can't see... Um, I mean, the image looks better because it looks like anti-aliasing. And I can't really tell a difference. I don't see like any uh, rough edges anywhere. Yeah, right now we're at one one hundred plus FPS, just in this, in this scene right here. Reflections look amazing. Oh, I mean that reflection of the ship. It just 
I mean, look at that reflection and the sharpness. It's, it's really amazing. My temps are still 44C and under. Yeah, temps are great. And we're still at 2100 megahertz. Uh, we're using about also 8.5 gigs of uh, video memory at 4040p. And uh, for CPU RAM, we're using about 9.5 gigs out of 64 gigabytes. My result is done, um, but yeah, I think that that pretty much explains it. It's just like I was saying, right? I mean, it's about 20 to 25 FPS boost uh, with DLSS. So I'm gonna save this one. Uh, we'll save it as uh, DLSS 1440p, and we'll dial in our settings here for uh, our file name: 115.256, and save it. And uh, I don't know if comparing results online will give me a comparison. It's fairly new. Series. Yeah, it doesn't say. It definitely doesn't say that. But uh, what about this? I, I actually want to see that in the screenshot. So I think that's pretty important. But yeah, well, they take a screenshot with the saving tool again. And uh, right here. So file save as. God, it's getting pretty late, but it's right. And uh, new folder, DLSS 1440p. And uh, my file name will 15.256 stable. Okay, so uh, valid result. I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, it's, all my other results are good too. Uh, yeah, this doesn't have a score. This is the one I think I, I crashed. So I'll just delete this one. Cool. So moving on to uh, DLSS again. We'll do this this time at uh, DLSS 4K. So uh, right here. And uh, 3840 by 2160, that is 4K. Uh, so we'll run this test and see how we do. And we're back in Port Royal. So now we're doing uh, 4K, uh, no DLSS. I expect the uh, the frame rate to be terrible, even at 16x with NVLink. Yeah, I mean, the frame rate is just awful. Uh, let me just see the overlay for MSI Afterburner. But we are getting utilization on both GPUs, which is uh, 98%. So we're GPU bottleneck right now with uh, without DLSS, uh, getting 36 FPS. I guess it's playable for maybe adventure games, but for uh, first-person shooters, you're going to run into some issues, I think. Of course, with DLSS on, enabled, then... You know, I think that that that's what's gonna enable you to get that smooth gameplay at uh, first-person shooters at 4K. But I'm very surprised to see that the uh, utilization is 95% or higher. So we're definitely GPU bottlenecked on both. Both cards are really working hard right now, and temps are 44 uh, C max.
utilization on GPU is on, on the CPU is pretty low. So uh, this is all the GPU doing its work. 31 FPS. Wow. Uh, just to make a note, if you would have uh, a single 2080 Ti, your scores will be lower. <laughs> it would be much lower because uh, I'm running a uh, NVLink 16x on both. So d don't be surprised if you only try this with just one card and you like, what the heck, Miguel? You're you're getting higher FPS than me. Well, how come? It's because I'm running two. All right, so part two with the LSS. Um, yeah, also one of the reasons why uh, I decided not to go with 9900K is because uh, on C390, you are limited to 8X. That's a bottleneck. Uh, I also needed more PCIe lane, so Skylake X was the way to go. Anyway, back to the test. So we're at 60 FPS, which in my opinion is playable for uh, first person shooters. Uh, 60 FPS RTX on 4K. Man, that, that is impressive. And we're at 2100 megahertz on GPU clock. Uh, temps are pretty high right now. I mean, what I consider high for water cooling is uh, 45C. And it's uh, 45C at its own independent loop. Because the GPU loop has two water pumps and uh, two thick radiators with a thin... 140 radiator S exhaust. It's a neat little setup I have, but uh, that makes sure that the C the GPU temps are low as possible. But I gotta say, man, the, if if you if you're looking at what the reflections are doing in this ship, this is as good as it's gonna get for a long time. I mean, this looks like it looks like I'm I'm watching a movie from. Uh, Pixar, you know, all those high-end uh, 3D movie studios. It just, it looks real. This looks real. And uh, people could hate on NVIDIA all they want, but uh, NVIDIA got to this first. And you gotta, you gotta really gotta give credit to NVIDIA, uh, to Jensen Huang, who uh, really decided to push this, this technology forward. I mean, look at the reflection. This this looks real, guys. At 4K. Yeah, I was I was just uh, blown away with that result. Uh, RTX on with the LSS, man. All right, so 34.78 um, the LSS on C3. So yeah, guys, if you <laughs> if you want to uh, play RTX on with the LSS, you need two 2080 Ti's just to even be able to play it. You know, so uh, I'm gonna save this one, and we'll put uh, DLSS 4K, 4K with my uh, GPU overclock settings of 115, 256. We'll save this one and uh, compare results online. Let's uh, let's see. So that's result details right here. Yeah. All right, detail scores, that's what we want. There we go, so. Take a screenshot of this. All right, so save it. And benching DLSS 4K. Benchmark results 115, 256. All right, uh, last test is going to be the 1080p. This one's the one for all you crazy FPS RTX users out there. So we'll run this test. Actually, wait, let me uh, close Chrome. Make sure we get a good result here. All right, here we go.
So I expect the uh, frame rates to be high, very high, because we're uh, at 1080p. And uh, DLSS is off. But then I expect it to be ridiculous with DLSS on. Alright, so we're at 101 FPS, 2100 megahertz, 43C, not crashing. It's running just fine. 119 FPS. I gotta say though, the quality at 1080p is uh, it's pretty bad. It could just be me also because I, I am running a, a 4K display. So for me, I could really see that the quality has definitely gone down compared to the 4K resolution. The frame rate is up though, so. But um, one of the key things I noticed is that when you see the reflections, there's a lot less detail because there's a lot less pixels. So it's not as impressive as 4K. Actually, a lot of things from 1080p to 4K, uh, there's always going to be a huge difference whether or not you have RTX or not, you know. But just in general, um, with RTX on, 100 FPS on two, two cards, I think that, that could be your um, your FPS resolution for very good uh, low, low latency shooters, like Call of Duty, uh, Medal of Honor, etc., Modern Warfare. And now with DLSS. DLSS on, this is like your... Uh, your setting if you're sniping and you want RTX on. So you get those millisecond response times and kills. Should be 120 plus. It should be. Alright, we're at 133. Yep, 120 plus. So 127, 128. You gotta, I gotta really give credit to. Uh, to UL benchmarks for uh, creating this this test, it's highly optimized, highly. Ooh, that's bright. But yeah, even even with DLSS on uh, at, a, at a 4K resolution, to me, uh, I, it's I could see the edges still, you know. But I think I would agree with anybody that uh, 1080p for at uh, DLSS on you get that 144 hertz uh, refresh rate, which is I guess if you're going for that and you want that, then this is the resolution for you. But um, you would need two two 2080 Ti's, and also we're not GPU bottleneck. We're at 77 percent utilization, and the other cards like 92. Almost done with the test. Yeah, it looks like we're maintaining uh, 120 to 130 FPS. Um, it's really good, actually. If you got a 120 hertz display, you, know, you could try it. You know, with 120 hertz, 1080p, you're set. But yeah, well, I'm noticing here in the reflection that um, the reflections don't have as much detail so it is higher performance though and yeah it looks like I was right it's about a 20 FPS difference uh, so I'm gonna save this one so a new folder DLSS 1080p and uh, my settings here 115 256 VMEM Compare results online. Let's go take a look. All right, result details, uh, detailed scores, what we are interested in. So uh, DLSS off. 
107.32 FPS. Keep in mind that it's RTX on with DLSS off. RTX on with DLSS on, we get 129.457 FPS. So a lot of you will uh, probably agree that if you are uh, into high refresh rates, this is probably the resolution for you. If you're happy with just 60 FPS, then 4K would be uh, the one you want to try. Uh, let me just do a screenshot here, and then this is gonna this is gonna conclude our benchmark for today. So to save this one in a new folder, DLSS 1080p benchmark results 115 256 stable. Okay, cool. All right, guys. So uh, that concludes the uh, benchmarks. Um, there is, of course, other benchmarks like PC market stuff, but uh, I think uh, you guys can agree that the one most important ones for the, uh, the gaming PCs and uh, the feature test, the API overhead test, uh, nah, I just don't need that. I think that's the, uh, the PCIe ones. We don't need that. But yeah, th uh, thank you for watching. Uh, leave a like, comment, subscribe if you want. Uh, we'll be up I'll be uploading. Uh, more content for uh, Let's Play playthroughs. And uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed the video. And until next time, bye.